Hi, Bill. Uh, here's the video that I promised you about sharing folders and files in Dropbox. And I'll show you how to share a folder that uh, you want to allow people to edit the documents and also how to share a folder or a document that you just want users to be able to view the document but not be able to edit it. Uh, if you go to dropbox.com, you'll see uh, the URL at the top here. Uh, it will take you to this screen. And I've got your username and password saved. So I've already filled in the username at the top and then the password below. Uh, you should have that. If not, I'll give that to you again. Uh, then I'm going to click sign in. And I've decided to, to, to show you this using the web browser. Uh, because it's easiest and most users uh, on the board will, you know, may or may be using Windows, maybe using Mac, uh, but it should be a fairly consistent, um, you know, way to show you how to do it. Uh, and then in, in case you have to show someone else uh, how to do it um, using a web browser, it will be uh, basically the same type of instructions. So here are the files that we currently have on your Dropbox uh, account. Uh, the Gulf Cemetery, Cemetery Donations. Uh, I created a folder called Website Information. Uh, I'm going to post uh, this video into this folder as well so that you can refer back to it if you need to. Uh, I'm also going to put the uh, credentials and website information, uh, all the things that I use to update your website, uh, Dropbox account, whatever information that I think you may need in the future um, will be in this folder as well so that, you know, um, if, if I move on down the road at some point or someone else starts to do some work and needs access uh, or I'm not able to immediately respond to a request, anyway, you'll have all that information there so that uh, you don't have to uh, uh, hunt me down or, or whoever may be working on it. You won't ever have to hunt for that information. It'll be there in this folder. So uh, I'm starting to put that, that folder and that information together for you. Now at this top level, these are folders of documents. If I click in the Gulf Cemetery, you'll see that we've got all these documents. If I go back up and click the Dropbox link again, it brings us to the top level. Now you'll see as I'm mousing over it, on the right-hand side is the share. Now I'm at the folder level, so if I want to share every document in this folder, I can just click the folder, go to share, and there's a drop down. And the first option is to invite people to be able to see the documents, but also be able to edit the documents. Now the link below to send link is sending people a link to the folder so that they can view the documents only. Uh, they are not able to edit the document. So I think in most cases, you're just going to want to send a link to users so that they can view the folder, view the documents, uh, but not be able to uh, edit the documents. Now, if you don't want to share everything in the folder, you can go, you can click into the folder, and then each of these documents has a share option beside it as well. So let's say you wanted to share uh, a document, just one document with a particular person. You can highlight that folder or that file, and then you have the same options. Invite people to collaborate, which will allow them to uh, view and edit the file, or you just send them a link and they'll just be able to view it. So they would you know, not be able to make changes to it, but if you made changes to it uh, and updated it, uh, they would be able to see those changes uh, as soon as you uh, make the changes and save them uh, to the Dropbox folder. So when they viewed it, they would always be seeing the uh, most current version of the file. So really, uh, that's about all there is to it. Uh, it's a very simple, there's some other things that you can do with Dropbox. You can buy additional storage, uh, that type of thing. Um, photos and, and, and some other things as well. But I think for, for our purposes, for your purposes, this is all uh, that we need to do at this point. You can create new folders by going up to the top, you know, upload new documents and things. You can do everything through the web interface. Um, if you need to um, go into the Gulf Cemetery folder, then you can click, you know, the upload button here and you can choose the files that you need to upload uh, to the folder and then choose whether or not to share uh, that file with others.
Um, but that's about it. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, we can go over it, uh, um, you know, this week or before the board meeting, uh, if you have any questions and, uh, this will give you an opportunity to, to get into the site, kind of see how it works and then let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but that's all, uh, I will uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.